everybody before we get into this morning's update i want to go over a quick overview of what's going on with xrp as we know last night we had a little bit of a pump of over six percent from the low and we ended up at the five the 0.526 level approximately i came on last night and i was trying to make it very clear if we don't break and hold the 537 that even though we've invalidated at least in the short term the dot cross and the four hourly i showed how if we did lose and come back below 50 cents and then broke down the 482 how this could be a short-term invalidation but continue moving down but as it is right now xrp went from 526 all the way down to 482 so it completely wiped out all of the, the gains and then overnight it pushed back up to where we're at now the 50 cent psychological level so what we have to do now is that was a pretty bearish downturn so now xrp needs to get back on top of not just the 508 but ultimately break up and hold the 537 to validate that short-term reversal on the death cross in the four hour time frame it's also why last night you see me put the 522 on and take it out and say this is not the important level it's either 537 or 508 hold and there was nothing in between and it proved it yesterday as we came down better than six or seven percent in a matter of an hour or two overnight and now we've corrected back up to 50 cents but are we going to get a rejection point here today at like the 508 level or rejection and fall below 50 cents that's the key this morning but what I will caution you by saying is this looks like a standard operating procedure on the consolidation and the drop on the on the consolidation and liquidity grab when it came back down to the 482. Right now it's above the 20 day and the four hourly and we've already recrossed the 20 back through the 200 and has not invalidated itself again, which means it has not had another death cross coming back below. So we'll see if this can continue. Make sure today we're choosing positivity over negativity. We're looking at the charts with an emotionless response and we're allowing the technical analysis and the price action in front of us to dictate our perception of the reality of xrp it's not going to be based on emotion it's not going to be based on the fact we're on xrp to 10x it's going to be based on the fact that the charts are speaking and forming our perception when we use that positive mindset positive outcomes happen and positivity over negativity we will attract the positive spirits and not have the negative negativity running through this community I appreciate each and every one of you, and I love each and every one of you for your individuality, and that's the reason I come on here so many times a day, is because I believe no matter the size of your wallet, everybody deserves this information for free. Good morning, 9.59 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Thursday, June 22nd, 2023. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So exactly what we were talking about last night played completely true. We talked about if we didn't break up and hold the 537, we could invalidate the short-term invalidation of the four-hourly death cross in the four-hour time frame. Now, if we look at the four-hourly, we have not broken this back down we've had the 20 cross the 200 now we're trying to use it as support at the 50 cent level and this is very critical very critical we came back down into the consolidatory dump down to around the 482 level came back up and held the 494 now we've pushed up to the 50 cents approximately now it's up to xrp to hold 50 cents and try to confirm this pattern is not breaking down we had a substantial drop last night, which I tried to warn about. If we didn't get above 537, where I thought 522 was irrelevant, we'd just come back down to 508. We had a better than seven, what was it? We had an 8% drop after hitting the top at 526. We dropped down by 8% and consolidated back down to the 482 level. Well, 484, we came down to approximately. And then we pushed right back up in the, the next four hourly, we came to the 494. And now we're trying to see if we can hold 50 cents because that's going to be critical. But in order for this pattern to continue reversing back up, we have to hold five, the 508 um, level. Right now, these were pathetic pullback ups. That volume is very low. And we're going to need some help here. After such a big, big push up, that's a tremendously bad pull down. That's a very bearish breakdown of 8%. So now for this pattern to continue, we need in the immediate short term for this to come up to 508. Otherwise, 
this did exactly what we didn't want to happen. Like we talked last night. And I encourage anybody to watch that update. We talked about if this was building the handle here that was very bearish. We didn't want the handle built there. We wanted this to come around and build up here and at worst hold this support, not come down like this. It needed to hold this 508 if it was building that handle there. What we could not afford to happen was this and then dropping down and then it uses that as resistance. That's what we can't afford to happen. That would be the breakdown and confirmation of the pattern if this happens. So this morning our job is, can we get back above 508? If you're a holder of XRP or part of the community, 508 is your top priority. Or is this a 50 cent rejection and we start to go in standard operating procedure and this very quickly came up, created a head, right shoulder, and then it just dies. That's the problem with these type of patterns and that's why we had it universally put. 522 was not our break point and we needed to go from 508, come up to 537, break that and hold to validate the invalidations of the short term death cross and the four hour time frame. But as it is, we got rejected and didn't even get to come up to the 537. We came down for consolidation at 508 like we talked about last night, but instead of holding it and then breaking out the 537, we in fact gave it all back, invalidated the 508 support, came back down and just had a nice drop of, like I said, 8% from the top. So now for XRP, the only way to reignite this pattern, which it hasn't given up yet. Remember, we've had the recrossing of the 20 cross and the 200, the 20 coming through the 50 as well. And now we're trying to right side up coming over the 100. So XRP's got two choices this morning. One, we get back on top of 50 cents and then 508 in the immediate short term. Or two, this invalidation stays. We get rejected by 50 cents and now we start working our way back down. If we lose the 477, at any time, that's going to signal another 8% drop roughly to 44 cents in the bottom of this um, inverted head and, or the broadening wedge and the inverted head and shoulders neckline. So that's what we're watching today. It's very critical. If you're a fan of XRP and you want this to continue pushing up, we need to do some work here, ladies and gentlemen. And then if we want to look at Bitcoin real quick, it's still maintaining up 232 points or 0.78%. Bitcoin's at 30,240. And like we talked about yesterday, it's extremely bullish. If Bitcoin builds this handle above 30,000, if that's where this is building, if it builds this at 30,000, the support, and it holds this on top of the CME gap, this would technically signal a push up likely up first to 32,800 and 33,938 to complete this part of the pattern. But it is possible that it pulls you all the way up to 38,000. Like this is a distinct possibility that we could run up to 38,000. It just... It is what it is. I mean, you can see the consolidatory phase. We don't need that chart. 28,000 held very nicely. And now if we hold this area, it's simple. 38,215 is likely that next big point up there after a big breakout. And I don't necessarily like to use those charts. I used, I used, or I like to use these shorter time frames where I have this all set up. As you can see, we broke out of the descending triangle broke over the falling channel first support at 28,000 broke over the falling channel resistance at the top at 30,000 got on top of the CME gap and now we're using it as support our next job for Bitcoin is to get above 31,000 and hold right now if we do hold 30,000 at that CME gap and hold that support like we have been the last day we got through the daily candle that's a huge hold huge hold at 30,000 and if we continue pushing up that could speak volumes that XRP is having a short-term invalidation here and that it's going to continue moving up. But just be aware that XRP released 300 million uh, tokens yesterday, as it turns out. Some people were saying it was a billion. It was not. It was 30% of a billion. So at least get the facts straight if we're going to say XRP is releasing tokens into circulation. But it was. It was about 300 million. And then something I want to talk about. I want your comments. I'm either going to do this in a live today this will be part of the live. I think I'm going to talk through this in the live. So if you're interested in the live today at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, this is going to be one of the things we talk about, that the ION Treasury announces the successful migration of its Wall Street suite clients to the ISO 20022. This was released yesterday. So this is what I'm going to go over, as well as the technical analysis in the live today. So I encourage each and every one of you who wants to know about the ISO migration and the successful migration of its Wall Street uh, suite clients to the ISO 20022. I'm going to
talk about all of this and we're going to read this verbatimly. It's not very long, but we're going to go over this. This will be how I start the live and then we're going to get into some hot and heavy technical analysis. Make sure you have that mental stronghold over your mind. You're not letting your emotion decide and dictate the charts for XRP or crypto. You're letting the technical analysis form and shape your perception of crypto. Make sure if you want to show some support in the video description below and or pinned comments, there's a mission statement of why it's so important for you to join Tom's Army. If you want to show any appreciation for my work, that's the way to do it. And if you're looking to um, trade XRP, your favorite crypto, video description below and or pinned comments. We've got Uphold, which is um, our last stronghold in the USA. Anybody can use it without a VPN. And then BitGet and or Mexi, if you have the opportunity, no spot fees on the buy and sell. And you can futures trade up to 250x longer shorting the market, but I do not advise that. I just advise buying your XRP or favorite crypto and then shifting it over to Uphold. Hashtag be better, do better. Hashtag fight assassin. And remember, help one person each and every day. Because if I don't do my part and you don't do your part, it's going to be a long journey to 2023.